Hey everyone and welcome to another video in the Google Analytics series of 90 Second Knowledge. As always, before we get started, don't forget to hit subscribe and the alerts button too so you get notifications of our latest content that's going to help you get more traffic and sales through your business website. Now today we're going to take a look at how to know where people are finding your website and how they're arriving at your website in Google Analytics. This is really important because it can help you understand if you're paying for things like advertising, whether it's actually working and whether it's driving sales through your website. This can help you make better decisions about where you're using your marketing spend and whether to move it and try it in a different channel. How are we going to do that? Well, let's get nine seconds on the clock and take a look. There are three reports in Google Analytics that show you information about your website traffic. We're going to focus on one because it has the most detail. Click acquisition, then traffic acquisition. When the report loads, you'll see two graphs at the top, a line graph which shows you information about traffic from channels over time, and you'll also see a bar graph which shows you the total number of traffic from each specific source over the same time period. If you want to change your time period, click this drop down at the top and you can select the date range that you want to see information for. Beneath the charts, you'll notice a table and this contains loads of detail about the specific traffic sources that are sending traffic to your website. Direct non represents direct traffic, so these are people who are typing in your website directly or using bookmarks. Anything with organic is SEO and natural search from Google or Bing or DuckDuckGo, for example. You've also got referral information, which will be things like social media sites. You might also see CPC or PPC traffic, which is your paid search campaigns. And you'll see individual campaign information here. The information on the right shows you things like individual users and the number of website visits that they're sending. You've got engagement information in the middle, such as how many pages they're visiting and how long they're spending on the site. And then to the right, you've got e-commerce information. So if you're selling a product through your website, how much revenue is being driven by that specific channel. And this is where you can start to understand how valuable that traffic is and whether it's worth continuing with that specific activity or if you're spending a lot of money to get traffic, but not a lot of sales. And this information is what's gonna help you determine which are your key traffic driving channels and where to focus your marketing budget. So there you go. That's how you can find out how your website traffic arrives at your website using Google Analytics. Don't forget to check back on this data regularly too. User behavior changes all the time. And so what might work last month might not work next month. This allows you to change and adapt your marketing strategies and spends and budgets accordingly. And you can always try and target that audience wherever they are. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And join us again soon for more helpful hints and tips that are going to help you attract more website traffic and sales to your business website.